Christ, but you're a right pair. Two bars and a ball bag. Now listen, Pat. I promise I'll take care of him. I had a word with our Kieran, you remember him? He knows Billy Chamberlain from way back. Owes me a favour. Reckons he can sweeten Billy up a bit. Come on. Have I ever let you down? Right, you lost the cake at the wedding. N now then, now then. That, that wasn't my fault. You left it on a bench at Argyle Street. Aye, you were that bloated you didn't even remember baking the cunt. Oh, my children, that was before the light of the Lord came to me. Here we fucking go. Uh, and you, Mr. McCleary, you can fuss and cuss all you like. But perhaps if you went to the Saracens a little less and the Tabernacle a little more, then perhaps you'd not be in this pickle, eh? Don't, don't look at me. You're the one who decided to spend the next four months trapped on our egg with this bam pot. Susan, I promise you, I promise you, we will get this straightened out. I will. You'd better. Welcome all back into the cult where we've got a brand new series of Bill Wakes the Deep gameplay walkthrough part one. So if you haven't already, be sure to hit the like, hit the subscribe and hit the bell to stay notified for part two. And when we do finish release the series of the gameplay walkthrough, we will be releasing a game review as well. So be sure to check us out on socials. And as always, I love you guys and thank you for over 320 subscribers. Let's get into it. I still can't believe you went. What are you thinking? Going to that place. Wish you hadn't got yourself into this mess, but you did. And you can't run forever. I know you were just trying to do right by me, so I need you to do what's right by us now, please, Kaz. I am so tired of fighting. I just want it to be over. You home, the girls want you home, but if you don't deal with this, then we are done for good. I love you. But I won't wait forever. Sus. Jesus, Sus. Girls need you a Christmas card. <laughs> Fucking Christmas. Kaz, Roy's finishing up breakfast if you want something. I'll, I'll be there in a minute, Trots. Aye, well, don't wait too long or someone will be up with you. Aye, yeah, all right. Sorry, girls. Quite right, Trots. Davy must have gone back on shore last night. All right, Kaz. I'm all right. What are you doing up there? Pipes leaking. If it's not one thing, it's the other. See this whole rig? It's a pile of shite. It's falling apart. And we've only just started drilling. Fucking Kadal. And fucking Rennick cutting corners. Aye. Speaking of, you are in the shite, wee man. Rennick got a letter this morning from the mainland and he's been up to high dough ever since. Heard he's gunning for you. Well, that's just brilliant. Christ, I need a smoke. Can I have 
Give me a lighter anywhere. Take mine. I don't need it anymore, honestly. You're a fucking lifesaver. I'm going to get breakfast. All right. I'll see you for darts tonight. We'll put a wee picture of Rennick up on the board for you. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. See ya. Doesn't he surprise me? Prick. Some leftovers. You all right, Roy? Cars, my old mucker. I do. McClary, to my office. That means no. Not as soon as you're ready. No. Ah, the sweet sound of Davy Rennick. You think it's the Paulus? Can't be surprised, Kaz. We hear from Sue's. She's talking about divorce. Oh, I'm sorry, Cass. She'll come around. Not if I get the jail, she won't. Well, maybe you could have considered that while you were battering Billy Chamberlain's head in. Cunt slagged off, Susie. Had it coming. And there he is. Floats like a butterfly, stings like a bee, and swears like the devil himself. Listen, mate, even if it is the police, maybe it's best to just go back and face it, yeah? Ugh, I don't know, Roy. I'm fucking scun up with the whole thing. The Lord loves you, mate, no matter what. And I'm pretty sure Seuss does too. That's all clear for you now, Roy. Lovely job, thanks, Dobby. Oh, Trot says he's left your insulin in your cabin. Oh, bless his little communist socks. Muchly appreciated. Ta. Remember, life is like football. It's not over until the final whistle. Aye. You're a Barnsley fan, so you're pretty much fucked from the off, right? Oh, I will see you hang for that, McCleary. Off you trot, lad, before his nibs blows a gasket. Home sweet home. See what the score is. Am I all right to get by, pal? It's all right. You have to go around, Kaz. And there, fellas. McCleary. No. I can scalp in this hero by myself. <laughs> no, we're all right. Cheers, though. Fair enough. You want to transfer here, McCleary? You'd give me less lip. No. He loves it. McCleary, my 
office. I don't make me ask again. In a better mood today, is he? It'll be all right, Kaz. We'll get used to it. We all get a turn. Try not to punch him. <laughs> no promises. Give me a minute to check. It needs fair again. I can see from here. Drill crew will love that. <laughs> Renick will love it even more. You're telling them. I told them last time. This one's all yours. All right, Roper, what's the problem? I don't usually see you down here. Ah, the drill's acting up this morning. Not the crew running around like blue-ass flies. But they cannot make head or tail of it. Is that you's behind schedule, then? Oh, not yet. And not if the gods are smiling on us. So mere fuck than ever. Poor as fucked as you, by the sounds of it. Look, you better get up there. The boss man sounds raging. Say a prayer and all. Seems like we'll keep doing yours. Stay on the path, mate. A cargo hoist will crush you if you get close. <laughs> McLean! Jesus, Scooby! <laughs> Give me a heart attack. Oh, sorry, mate. Can I ask a wee favour? What do you need, Scoop? Ah, oh, could you do me a quick fix on the crew lift fuse box while you're down there? Aye, no bother. Oh, you're a lifesaver, mate. And don't let the big man get you down, all right? Thanks, pal. Well, here we fucking go. Enter! Ah, Mr. McQuarrie. So glad you could join me and sorry to have got you out of bed. Shut the door and have a seat. No, I'm fine, Stan. Sit your ass in that chair, you fucking liability. But I don't... I run a tight ship. Do you understand me? A tight ship. Technically, it's no shit. Shut your gub, you Ned prick! I am sick, sick to fucking book of you wee gub sites messing with my operation. That chef might be a mate of yours, but he does not run things around here. I do. Do you understand me? All right, why don't you just get on with it? Don't you answer me back! You might be the height of shite on shore, McClary, but out here, I am the fucking king. Do you understand me? You bring the police to my door, to my rig. Uh, look, I, I can sort this, right? I just need time. Shut it, you clatty gobshite. I've got here's a man who can make a more positive contribution to this operation than you. Look, I know Shut it! I'm in a meeting. What? For fuck's sake, Gibbo, I don't care. We're on a schedule. It's a fucking drill. You've got a fucking drill, so drill through it. Yeah, well, Roper's a whiny old fud. He's got a problem with everything. I don't care if it feels half. Just fucking do it! Or I'll come down there myself! Is that uh, trouble with the missus? You're fired. You hear me? 
fire. Uh, come on, man. It's only a wee bit of trouble with the polish. I'm good with the lecky. I keep things running. You said it yourself. Ouch! Get off my rig! Aye. Happy New Year to you too, you cunt. for you guys. Christ, but you're a right pair. Two bars and a ball bag. Now listen, Pat. I promise I'll take care of him. I had a word with our Kieran, you remember him? He knows Billy Chamberlain from way back. Owes me a favor. Reckons he can sweeten Billy up a bit. Come on. Have I ever let you down? Roy, you lost the cake at the wedding. N now then, now then. That, that wasn't my fault. You left it on a bench at Argyle Street. Aye, you were that bloated you didn't even remember baking the cunt. Oh, my children, that was before the light of the Lord came to me. Here we fucking go. Uh, and you, Mr. McCleary, you can fuss and cuss all you like. But perhaps if you went to the Saracens a little less and the Tabernacle a little more, then perhaps you'd not be in this pickle, eh? Don't, don't look at me. You're the one who decided to spend the next four months trapped on our egg with this bampot. Susan, I promise you, I promise you, we will get this straightened out. I will. You'd better. <laughs> Guys! Christ! He's got gold! Shit! Guys! Get his leg! We can't leave him out here! Move! Fuck! Cass! I think he's dead! We got you, man, alright? We got you! He's breathing, thank Christ! Cass! Wake up, Cass! Why is he not waking up? Can you hear me? Is he gonna die, bro? <laughs> Kaz? So, you got me out. Did you get Gregor? I got you, I. I couldn't find Gregor. Fuck. I'm sorry, Cass. Jesus. He's not the only one we lost. Oh, no, no. Rass is still in there. Why aren't these working? Cass, I need you to help me. Cass! What? Right, I. What, what do you need? The cable's stuck. Go down and release the main brake. Then come back up and raise the bell. 
If you can get it to my level, I think I can get him out. Aye. Rust, it's all right. We're getting you out. We'll be two minutes past. <laughs> Right. even safe now. What's wrong with rafts? I don't know, all right. Decompression shouldn't have been this bad. Oh, I shouldn't have let him go down there. I said I'd look after him. I'm here, rafts. It's pro day. I'm going to get you out. Uh, is there anything there I can do? No, I'll get him. We need to know what's going on up top. You'll need to go through engineering. The way up is blocked from here. Where's engineering for here? I've never been doing this end before. The only way you'll get there is to go under the rig. Should be a clearer path down there. All right. I'll head down now. Right. Christ! Too close. 
Oh, fucking hell. Just get across. Fuck am I? Finally, something useful. Jesus. Beast. Clear it. Guys, over here. Jesus, Finley. You all right? Don't look like you've seen a ghost. Who's making that noise? Gibble. He's making that racket. You should be no find him. Help him. No. When did they recommend that? What does that mean? 
It means he's no all right. After that explosion, they got oil or some shit on him and just, I don't know, he freaked out, went for me. He's still out there. You mean out here, as in out here with me? Aye, that's exactly what I mean. Oh, that's just fucking brilliant. You seen anyone else? I just got here. Where are you going anyway? Back to accommodation. Listen, you'll have to get through the water tanks to get up to accommodation. And quiet like. Gotta go all the way up there. Jesus. And what about Gibble? Stay the fuck away from me. You're listening to me. He's no right, cuz. I'm no arguing. Cuz. Be fucking careful, eh? Aye. You know.
Jesus. God, stop. Shit. Fuck. God, stop thinking about it. Just stop thinking about it. Jesus. Jesus. Right. Is anyone here? Hello? I 
If there's anybody here, fucking say something! McCleary here? Cut. It's O'Connor. I've got Bruce and Fergus with me. You know what's going on? No, but we hit something. You need to get out of there. Don't need to tell me twice. Listen, something's wrong in engineering. It's not safe. We'll go through the leg and come up through the under rig. Rennick better give the evacuate. O'Connor, you have to go through accommodation. It's all blocked. Do you hear me? O'Connor! Trots? Trots, is that you? I can't hear you, man. Open the door. Trots, the door's blocked. I can't get to you. What's up, wee man? Are you hurt? Jesus Christ. Jesus, Trots! Trots! Lounge and try the galley. Please, please be there, mate. Yeah. I can't get this one open. No chance. Hello? Bloody hell, fire! Get in, quick. Thank God you're all right. Jesus, what are you doing in here? What do you think I'm doing in here? What the bloody hell is going on? I don't know. People are dying, Roy. Dead? Who? Who who's, who's dead? How? Douglas. Trots, I think. I, I don't know, it's, it's this thing. I, I think it's doing something to people. I don't know what to believe, you know what I mean? I do, I really do. I saw something out on the deck. I, I didn't stay to look, it just scared the shit out of me. I should barricade the door. We can't hide, Roy. We have to get off this rig right the fuck now. Well, without Rennick say so. Roy, did you hear Rennick? What, you think we're getting evacuated? He'd want everybody back at work if we were at the bottom of the North fucking sea. <sighs> right. The lifeboats, then? Aye. You stay. Barricade the door. Let me clear a path, and once we're ready to go, I'll come and get you, right? I'll be here, don't worry. Getting some extra prayers in. <laughs> Aye, we're gonna need them. God, um... You won't leave me. It's bloody terrifying out there. I 
I'm not leaving you, pal. I wouldn't blame you if you did, mate. I mean, you got all the food in here for a start. <laughs> Listen, get your man upstairs on the case, and I'll see you soon, right? Things locked. No, this goes outside. It's too dangerous out there. Jesus. What the fuck's happened to it? Jesus. Ah, oh, my heat. Thank mm -hmm. you.